In our search for the perfect panel, in this video, we're gonna compare two powerhouses, SunPower against Tesla. We're gonna go ahead and take a look at all the different specifications and how these two brands compare against each other. Now, when comparing solar panel companies, there are a lot of different factors we could take a look at, but in this video, we're gonna take a look at five specific things. One is the cost. Next, we're gonna look at the efficiency rating, the temperature coefficient, which I'll explain exactly what that is here in a second, whether or not they offer a complete solution and also what their warranty period is. Now, uh, when it comes to these things, like I said, you can compare a lot of different factors and there are a lot more things you can consider in addition to these things, but this will give us a really good apples to apples comparison when comparing these two companies. We'll also be taking a look at these two specific panels because at the time of this recording, these are considered the best panels that each of these companies have to offer. All right, so first let's take a look at the efficiency of these panels. So the efficiency is just a way to tell how efficient the panels are at converting sunlight into energy. And with this efficiency rating, the higher the number, the more power you can get out of a single panel, which in turn means there are fewer panels to buy and fewer panels to install on your roof. So in this case, the winner is clearly sun power. All right, so now let's take a look at temperature coefficient. Now, what this is, and I know it sounds really complicated, but it's not. The, the temperature coefficient number is simply a way to understand how efficient a solar panel is at converting the sunlight into electricity when it gets hot. Now, believe it or not, when solar panels get hot, they actually lose some of their efficiency in being able to make this transfer between the sunlight into energy. So this number helps us understand how much of that energy is lost. Now, this is gonna be important when you're living in hotter climates, like the desert, Arizona, places that get a lot hotter most of the time. If you're living in the Midwest or if you're living up north, this isn't going to be as big of a deal for you, but it is something still to be aware of. So in this case, the closer the number is to zero, the better. Zero meaning it has no loss of energy when it comes to getting hotter. All right, so now let's take a look at the warranty. So with the warranty, uh, pretty much in the industry standard is 25 years on the solar panels themselves and 10 years on everything else in the system. So everything else meaning like the inverter and the battery bank and things like that. So um, you can see here, this is how these two companies compare. And SunPower is pretty interesting and pretty unique in the industry. They actually offer a 25 year warranty on the panels, but they also offer a 25 year warranty on everything else in the system as well. So you don't have to worry about uh, the panels being 25 years and the inverter being 10 and the battery bank maybe being something else everything's the same warranty period so that way uh, you don't have to worry about things being a little bit different and it kind of gives you that peace of mind for the lifespan of your whole system all right so now let's take a look at these two different companies and whether or not they offer a complete solution uh, basically complete solution is whether or not they offer just the panels or if they offer the panels and they offer the other components for your system as well. So as you can see here, both SunPower and Tesla offer a complete solution. And that's really important because if you have any kind of an issue with the system in the future, say if you have a problem with the solar panels and you have, uh, or you have a problem with the battery backup or you have a problem with the inverter, you don't have to worry about those components being from different manufacturers and you know, different warranty periods as well as a different manufacturer to get in touch with. Now, these systems are pretty reliable, but at the same time, uh, if you have something go wrong in the future, it's gonna make it a lot harder to understand who to contact for what, especially, you know, like 10, 20 years down the road, if you have something in one of these systems fail. All right, so here's how the panels stack up against each other at this point. So now let's transition and talk a little bit about the cost. Now, when it comes to cost, it's really hard to compare two companies apples to apples. And the reason I say that is because a lot of times we tend to focus on the solar panels themselves, but the solar panels are just one piece of a bigger puzzle. So there's these other components that are involved as well, like the power inverter, there's the solar batteries if you're looking at backup power, especially if you're looking to have solar power at night and not be dependent on the grid itself. And it also depends on how much insulation costs are. All these different things play a factor into how much a complete home solar solution costs. So in order to get a full picture and a full answer on what it would take to have home solar at your house, it's best to contact a company to get a full quote, to have a comprehensive picture and a really clear understanding as to what it would take to have solar. So if you're interested in getting a quote, I've teamed up with SunPower to help provide quotes for no charge. And actually they have a really easy way of being able to do this where they don't come out to your house. You can do everything online. They can set up a Zoom conference with you and they can even pull up your home on a satellite image and lay out all the solar panels and explain to you what all of your options are depending on different things like where your house is in the country, how your house is positioned you know, according to the sun, all these things that really play a factor and a role into understanding what the total cost of ownership is for a solar solution. So if you're interested in that, I have a link in the description below that you can go and click on and learn more and set up a free quote from SunPower. Uh, I also have other links in the description that will take you to different resources for you to learn more about solar itself 
And last but not least, I have this video here that you might be interested in uh, talking a little bit more about solar. So be sure to check that out. Thanks for watching this video. Hopefully you found it helpful and informative. If you did, please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. And I will catch you in the next one.